Right, everybody? Let's make a hand wheel. So I got this one here finished. Uh, I'm going to show you how I make this next one. It's going to be pretty much Way the same. It's going to be just a little bit larger. I'm not sure why they use two different keys, but that's what Brown and Sharp deemed right. All right, Dave. Over there at the Crafted Channel. Uh, I know you're wondering how I mounted my camera up so it could travel. Uh, well, I've got it on a... Uh, uh, excuse me, it's a Noga uh, magnetic base arm. And all I did was just get one of these things off of eBay. You know, it's a GoPro mount with a quarter 20 adapter. And then I just threaded a little bit of rod that fits in the Go, and excuse me, in the Noga clamp up here on the where the camera's at. And I just permanently stick one in one of these. These things are about a dollar. I mean, they're throwaway prices. They're not quite as nice as the original GoPro equipment, but uh, I don't think GoPro actually makes one of these. Lord only knows why they don't. But uh, anyway, so get you one of them if you're, if you're using a GoPro. If not, I mean, you could just thread you up a little pin and put it on any kind of camera on this sort of a rig, I suppose, as long as the magnet will hold it. Anyway, so on to the first step. So uh, we're going to face this, and then uh, we're going to get in there and drill it out, and we're going to have to ream this hole. Uh, the ways on my bed, uh, bed here are just terrible. Uh, I don't trust it to be able to bore a straight hole. It'll want to bore a conical hole, and that is not what I need right now. Okay, and here's the mic test that everybody's been waiting for. Uh, I'll turn the, turn the lathe on for you. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's not too, too quiet. through so that's uh that's a 23 30 seconds drill i picked this up there's a used machine store not far away from where i live here and uh let's see if i can get you pointed down. Ah, i really can't well anyway but it's a morris taper 2 drill bit and uh they had a whole pile of these of course, all oddball sort of sizes like that, but everybody grabs up all the ones that are, you know, half, three quarters and whatnot. But that's very useful for me because that's just below three quarters of an inch by a 32nd. So now I can use my, uh, my expanding reamer I borrowed to open this hole up to the right size. All right, guys. So I don't know if you've all ever used one of these, but uh, this is an expanding reamer. If you can see right here, there's little grooves with all these cutters right in. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera here. But when the grooves come to here, I mean, they're almost non-existent. They're very, very shallow here, and they're pretty deep over here. And this thing has got a corresponding angle ground onto the bottom of it. So if you... Loosen this up and run it up here a little bit and then tighten tighten this one here up. It'll push this cutter up the hill and this thing gets a little bigger. So this is uh, 
you know, I thought this was a pretty clever invention. But anyway, uh, it would be nice to just have a, a reamer that was three quarters, but uh, between me and my buddy, we, we didn't have one. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I got a few other reamers, but I don't have one three quarters. So I'm on the hunt for one, but they're uh, sort of spendy. The other thing bad about this too, uh, it's bent actually here. I was thinking I could put it in the chuck and hold it and whatnot, but no, nope, that was a no-go. So. <laughs> so anyway, and this one cuts from 23 30 seconds up to, uh, oh, I think it's 25 30 seconds. So it's not very far. But each one of these cuts, but you can cut any size you want to adjust it to in between there. probably fast forward this here this is a uh, this is going to take a few minutes all right guys I had to adjust this thing, eh, I don't know, maybe 10 times it seems. Eh, maybe not quite that much, but it seems like one full revolution on this nut is about five thousandths of cutting. And that's probably about all you want to try to do by hand. Uh, I got down towards the end there, I was doing a quarter turn, and then, uh, you know, using that as just a piece of three-quarter rod here. Mushroomed on that side a little bit. There we go. It's a piece of three quarter rod here, just as a gauge. And once I got it to where this was, everything's measuring good, and that's a nice tight fit. I took the whole chuck and everything off the lathe over to the mill and slipped it onto the shaft over there, and everything fits really good there. So the next order of business is a uh, cut a keyway in here but uh, unfortunately i don't have a set of brooches or a press uh, the uh, lifelong quest for shopping for tools continues um, so i'm gonna have to go over to my buddy's house and borrow his his brooch and his press uh, but he doesn't like anybody filming over there so uh, we'll have to come back and uh, we'll get on with the next operation Probably, eh, I might fool around with making some, some measurements here. and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to cut this back some more. And I'm sort of debating if I want to wait till after I broach. Because uh, when I did broach it the last time, well, I had drilled a set screw and mounted it to an arbor. And it chipped out just a little bit. Not enough to really ruin anything, but, uh, you know. That you'd like to avoid that if you can. So uh, I think I may leave this a little extra thick for now, and I'll come back and I'll put it back on the chaws here, and uh, we'll face it down just in case. And here's the here's the hub, the original one. I'm not going to drill all these extra holes in it, but uh, I'll just drill that one for the set screw. It's even in view. There we go. Drill that hole there for the set screw. And I think that's about a quarter inch keyway. I'll have to measure that for, for certain. Anyway, that's it for right now.